Hey guys, welcome to the last episode of Rotorat for 2020. This year has been one of the most challenging years that we've ever faced as a world, really. But despite all those challenges, we still got to go on some great adventures and take you guys along for the ride on our episodes. I'm really proud of some of the things that we got done this year. I'm really looking forward to everything that we're going to be doing in 2021. So to wrap this year up, we thought we would do good old Community Spotlight, where we feature some amazing FPV clips from the FPV community. This is one of the best hobbies in the world, filled with some of the greatest, smartest, most talented people, and we love taking the opportunity to share some talented pilots with you guys. So, to kick things off, our first category is of course gonna be the holidays. Here we've got Junkrat FPV flying around Christmas lights, as well as like a light dancer. This is so cool getting to see the lights from a perspective where you're actually flying through the branches and like getting kind of immersed in the colors and all that stuff. I like the Cinewhoop feel, getting the whole tour and then actually flying through the branches, getting immersed in the lights, not just seeing them like you normally would walking by. Drones give you the ability to have and share a very unique perspective and see things that you can't see any other way. Here we have Fritz FPV also flying through a Christmas display. I had to include this one because we had that Star Wars display. What? Look at that Yoda and baby Yoda, come on. I think this is like just one house. Is this just someone's house that they just went nuts on? Really great display and really great flying from Fritz doing all the fly throughs and everything, getting that stabilized Cinewhoop footage, love it. Here we have Josh Goes Flying and he's touring an entire kind of downtown area and seeing all their Christmas lights. And my favorite part is this tunnel of lights. So epic, so pretty, just great through shots. I love the chill music, I love the smooth flying. Great job, Josh. And last up in the holidays category, we've got a clip here from Hiroki Irino and he has turned his Cinewhoop into Santa Claus. <laughs> it's just hilarious. So we got some third person shots of Santa cruising around a tree. Love seeing the people reacting to it just cause like, it's so funny. Who doesn't love a Christmas drone? I love the creativity. This video definitely made me smile. For next category, we've got location, location, location. One of the best parts of FPV is going to new places and flying them. I love that FPV always stays fresh because you can always find somewhere new, find some new epic spot to fly. Personally, I'm a big fan of bandos, and here we have Arnaud Mariage flying around a bando using a Cinewhoop. This video really caught my eye because he's taking advantage of the Cinewhoop's smaller size, but still throwing down some great freestyle moves. We love flying our Cinewhoops here at the Rotorat Warehouse. Even though Cinewhoops are more made to get cinematic, smooth shots and less acro ability, they are still pretty dang capable. More than once, they've really surprised us with how well you can still huck a Cinewhoop and get a nice little split S or whatever. And Arnaud is taking that to the next level, ripping around a bando, getting the dives in, exploring all the different levels. This spot looks really cool. I would love to get a chance to fly this. Coming in hot is Kata FPV with a tour of Salemi, Sicilia. He's flying around the rooftops of this historic place and it's just got a great vibe to it. I love kind of the chill tonal music and just seeing this really unique looking city from the perspective of a drone. Super smooth flying, really beautiful architecture going together in a way that just shows off the beauty of this place. Very dynamic too, how he started on the rooftops and was swooping down more to ground level. He's going up here, can we get a little freestyle in there? It's very tasteful, not too much, just a little bit, but it doesn't take away from kind of the cinematic aspect of this. Here we have Palm FPV doing some flights in South Africa. So this is a whole bunch of spots that I've never seen before, but they're all so perfect for FPV. I've gotta get myself to South Africa and hit some of these spots, this is epic. Bando areas, mountain dives, beautiful beachscapes. We've even got like abandoned cooling towers. Ow! Oh, that's one of my favorite things to fly. You guys should definitely go check out this video, not just for all the epic places that he flew, but also because his intro just... It just made me smile. It's got a real snappiness to it. Now we've got Slat FPV 
flying a water park. Look at this, I love these spiraling into one of those, what is that thing that's like that funnel ride? I've always wanted to actually ride one of these at a functioning water park, let alone get to fly one at an empty water park. I like this video on how he's using the shapes of the slides to kind of like half pipe. And of course he's doing some fly throughs. I think that's something we all want to try to do is actually fly through the pipes and it's really hard. But my favorite thing has got to be this funnel thing. I just want to ride one someday, preferably when it's warmer, because it is cold. Even here in Florida, it's pretty cold right now. Speaking of the cold, that brings us to our next category, the great indoors. This time of year, it's very cold in a lot of places. The ground is covered in snow, and it's pretty difficult to fly outside, as we all love to do. So lots of pilots turn to the great indoors to fly in creative ways. So here we've got some videos to inspire you and your next indoor flight. The drone studio got the opportunity to fly in a giant Mercedes-Benz car dealership. This is not only a cool video because of the talented flying, but also because you get to see some really great vehicles. Really awesome opportunity that the drone studio got and I think they made the best of it. Next up we've got Free Zillion flying an indoor LED track and there's an added element here where they've actually got like a fog machine going on and that just really takes the aesthetic of this to the next level. I mean I've seen LED tracks before but this just makes it look like it's out of a future movie set or something crazy. The way you can actually see the lasers kind of casting through the fog. It's next level. I love this. But even if you don't get the opportunity to fly a giant Mercedes museum or a place where you can set up a giant foggy LED racetrack, you can still have a ton of fun flying in your home. Here we've got SRK FPV. He's set up a little LED track of his own in his living room and just having a good time. That's what it's all about, right? With a little bit of effort, you can set up your own course, you can make your own race gates, you can use whatever you have laying around the house, like your chairs to, to create other obstacles, and just whatever it takes to keep you practicing, keep your skills on the sticks sharp. So I hope these videos motivate you guys to keep flying, even if it's freezing outside. Set up a little indoor track inside and fly a tiny what micro drone around, whatever. Just keep flying. Another way that you can stay flying is by using a simulator. FPV simulators are an amazing tool for learning FPV and even if you already know how to fly, sharpening your skills. Check out this video from Christopher Claflin. This video is documenting his experience of flying FPV for the first time after putting over 200 hours into a simulator. He talks about how when he was first getting into FPV, he was discouraged by a lot of people telling him it was really hard because FPV is quite challenging. But he decided not to let that get him down and he got himself a simulator and he put in some serious work learning to fly. So in this video, when he finally picks up a real drone for the first time and flies around a tiny hawk, you can see that that time really paid off. He's putting down laps, he's keeping the thing in the air, he's shooting gaps. It's awesome. This proves how helpful a sim can be in learning FPV. If you're thinking about getting into FPV and you don't know where to start, I definitely recommend a sim. We at Rotorat use Liftoff and it's available in our store, but there's a ton of options out there. Shop around, see what you like. Even if you've been flying for a long time, sims are still a great idea to keep you flying during the cold and to practice your skills and learn new tricks. Check out this video from Farouk FPV. Now we featured him on a bunch of community spotlights before he's one of my favorite pilots. He's got a really unique style and here he is in the sim doing his usual flowy, juicy, snappy thing. I think it's really cool to see a more seasoned pilot showing that they can still put down the moves even in a sim. Like, I, I can still tell this is Farouk flying even though it's a sim, like it still translates. He's doing all the tricks, he's got the snap, he's got the juice. So whether you're learning FPV for the first time or you wanna practice a new style, learn a new tricks, just stay flying while it's cold, whatever. Sims are a great tool to have. Last up in the sim category, this video is a little bit different. Check out this clip from Hurkan Amir. What he's done is he took an actual flying clip and then edited it in liftoff graphics. <laughs> This is so creative, and this must have taken so much work to do all the 3D tracking and animation. I don't even know how to do this sort of stuff in video. And he's got all the liftoff graphics, the on-screen display, the sound effect, and I just love this homage to the liftoff sim, which he says really helped him learn FPV. All right, guys, before we get into the last category of this community spotlight, I wanna remind you that there are links in the description to all of the pilots that we are featuring in this video. Definitely check out their channels and show them some love. Almost all of them have less than 1,000 subscribers. I mean, Fritz, he only has 17 subscribers, so definitely hit up their channels, check out some of their videos, 
drop them a subscription. Another way we're gonna spread the love is one of the pilots featured in this video is going to win a little giveaway. This time we are giving away a full Cinewhoop frame made up of the Shendrones Squirt frame and our signature ducks that we include with all of our frames and all of our builds, as well as a set of Cinewhoop motors, which is gonna be a great start to their next Cinewhoop build. However, everyone featured in this next category are ineligible to win this Cinewhoop prize. Why? It's because they're the pros. Community Spotlight is all about bringing some attention to some lesser known pilots, but every now and then, we want to take a look at some of the pilots that you already know and love, and so that's why we're ending this one. We're gonna be checking out some videos from our favorite pilots. First off, we've got Vanover with his video, Flow Perfect. I just had to include this video. He filmed all of this when he was down here in Florida last filming some Rotor Riot content with us, and we took him to some of my favorite spots, and he just killed it. Actually, I can't decide if I love this video or if I hate this video because he went to all my spots and just oh, took it to the next level. This video in particular is just so up my alley with the song and with the flow style and everything. He's such a versatile pilot. He's one of the best racers. He's got the really snappy, juicy style and here he's doing more of the flowy style, which of course I really like. Definitely check out this entire video if you haven't already seen it. Here we have Finky FPV doing what he does best, which is cinematic chasing. He's chasing some wakeboarders here, and I love this video. It's got a really bold color grade. This is like, I would never think to do this, and I'm seeing it, and it just works. Like, he's calling it the Burgundy Ride, because that's what you're seeing. It's just black, white, and burgundy, and he's got a really talented wakeboarder he's working with to get some really trick shots. Look at that. I love the water getting spread on the lens there. Boom! Oh, oh, drone down! Drone down! <laughs> Perfect way to end the video. Here we have a video from MCK Min Chan Kim getting back to the freestyle flow. Min Chan is, of course, most known for his racing, being one of the fastest pilots in the world, but I love seeing these racers also get down with the freestyle. It looks to me like he's just having a really good time. I feel like racing can be really stressful and intense, and that's what makes it fun, of course, is that fierce competitiveness. But I think you can really see here Min Chan is just enjoying getting into the freestyle, going with the flow, having a good time, doing the old flippy floppy. And last up, we've got Fire and Flow by Bubby FPV. Now, Bubby, we featured him a ton on Community Spotlight. He has really come up this year, really made a name for himself, grown a ton as a pilot. In fact, we've even brought him out a few times to be on Rotor Riot episodes, and he's a blast to film with and always nails the shot. So we had to bump him up into the pros category to keep him in Community Spotlight, but I had to include this video because I think this is his best video yet. Like I said, he's been improving all year, and this one, he's still just at it. I love Love how he's weaving everything in seamlessly. He's just going from one obstacle to the next, keeping it going. Nice variety of tricks, making really good use of the spot and doing a lot of different tricks all in one run. Check out the full video because he flies for, is it like over two minutes, just one continuous flow? That's one of my favorite things. So Bubby, you have been killing it this year. I've been so psyched to see all your improvement and just keep going at it. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this edition of Community Spotlight. It's time to pick a winner. We're gonna be giving away a full Cinewhoop frame and set of motors. For the winner, I am gonna pick Slat. FPV. Slat looks like a super talented pilot. I love what he was doing with the water park, getting all the freestyle in. I checked out some of the other videos on his channel. Definitely stop by his channel. He's got a lot of great freestyle videos. So Slat, you just won yourself a complete Cinewhoop frame and a set of motors. Hopefully this gets you a head start on your next build. So guys, thanks for joining us on this edition of Community Spotlight. We appreciate the support that you've shown us all year on the YouTube channel. We post videos every Monday and every time you tune in and watch our videos and hit the like button, it means a ton to us and keeps us going. Going. That being said, we're looking forward to keeping it going in 2021. We've got a lot of fun things planned, and I can't wait to take you guys all along on the journey. Happy New Year's. We will see you next year on Rotor Riot.